hello everyone and welcome in hope everyone is doing well positive healing vibes to all the subscribers viewers and the world out there today we're looking into cancer's overview for the month of october in this message we're first going to tap into the energies with the oracle of the shadow and the light then we're going to dig in with a traditional deck and with that deck we are going to look into the energy surrounding you what to hold on to this month what to let go of what's helping you moving forward what is challenging you for moving forward and the outcome we will also clarify as well as pull a few oracle car cards at the end and some advice guidance from spirit if that's something you guys are interested in you're more than welcome in joining us so let's see here, Cancer, what we can see for you guys for October 2020. Please don't thank you, Spirit. What does Cancer need to see here for October 2020? Please and thank you. And the broken heart healing from heartache let's get two more cards out here cancer autumn is my last chance please don't lose hope 36 that's a nine and then a six angel of time working too hard I see I see what is this is all about timing okay cancer what I see here the energy that's coming out here okay there's a sense of healing there's a sense of loss here okay there has been an end to something a shift okay I feel like this ending for most of you has already taken place okay some of you this may be happening soon for most of you this ending has already happened and you've already been on this healing journey for a while and i feel like you're getting impatient with yourself about this healing journey about this healing process and spirit here cancer is telling you that you're pushing too hard you're trying to force this um, and most likely what we are going to see here in the message is that you're needing to allow okay allow things to take place i'm being called to use the spell caster tarot so let's take a look here cancer a little bit deeper into these energies and see what we can see for you guys for the month of october 2020 Please keep in mind, guys, that the messages here on YouTube are general. They're not going to resonate every time with every person. It's really about the title. If there's something in the title resonating, most likely going to be something in the message. I like to say if the, the message is meant for you, you're going to feel it. So it's going to hit you. You're not going to be questioning or second guessing the message at all. Okay. For information on energy cleanse kits how to get entered into the drawing that we do here for free personal readings free stuff it's all linked below in the description box and cancer if you like how i vibe you like how i interpret the cards you're more than welcome to subscribe to the channel everyone's welcome here and it does help set your intentions for future messages moon energy there was a situation here that ended. I feel like this ending was significant. This was at one time a situation that was probably very stable, very solid in your life. But I feel like I, I get this energy here, Cancer, that you started questioning or somebody started questioning if this was the right situation or what right relationship, right home, however this is resonating, right? For most of you, this is a relationship, okay? This is a broken heart. For some of you, this could have been like a falling out with a family member. 
I do, however, feel like this, when you chose to walk away from the situation, there was a lot of stuff that came out that was maybe really heavy or hard to handle. Judgment to the Nine of Swords. Four of Swords. Seven of Wands. Eight of Swords, Queen of Cups, Six of Pentacles, Two of Pentacles, Two of Swords, Two of Wands, Temperance, The Knight of Swords flying out of the deck. Of course it is. For most of you guys, this was a situation where maybe a person had said that they were going, they were looking for a long-term commitment, a certain type of relationship, and then this never happened. They could have very well played like this was their long-term commitment, but maybe entertained other people. pretended to you as if this was their stable place and behind the scenes they were doing other things that they weren't telling you about. This could be other relationships. This could simply be hiding things, but with the intent of you not finding out, okay, which isn't a very healthy relationship to be in at all. I feel like you're, you have already ended the situation. I feel like you have been going through this mourning process. This is the energy that's surrounding you this month, Cancer. Okay, and we're going to clarify all of this in a minute. The judgment with the Nine of Swords. So, you're trying to push forward through this healing process. I feel like you don't want to have to even think about the situation but what you're not understanding here cancer is in order to free yourself from this you're going to have to go through this grieving process and it's not going to be easy and it's also there's no time limit on healing there's no time limit on grieving and i feel here cancer you may be kind of being hard on yourself like i've been grieving the situation for long enough it's time for me to move forward and that's only going to hinder this healing process try to take a step back from thinking that this has to happen a certain way you have to just allow that's the key that's the key to life is allowing awareness and allowing things to take place you kind of have to just sit back and wait and, and watch things happen, let things play out. When we try to force, when we try to make things happen a certain way, it is a form of resistance. Keep that in mind, Cancer. I also feel here, Cancer, by trying to force, by trying to push this forward, it's keeping you stuck honestly here because you're not allowing yourself time to heal you may have gone through the processes okay you may have gone through all like the practical processes where you write out your thoughts and did the brain dump and did some inner work and maybe even watched some videos on some attachment styles and and such and still feeling tied to this past situation like, well maybe this is it don't give up okay because I feel like this is the energy that's what's challenging you is you're you're feeling trapped by not allowing okay
But honestly, Cancer, I feel, and for some of you, you may give up on this healing process and go back to the person and entertain them again. They're still going to be in that same energy, that indecisive. And this could very well be you as well, Cancer, that being not wanting to go through this grieving process completely, fully, and utterly may be holding you back from healing. In this deck, the two of wands, the guy is really not paying attention here. He's trapped, he's tied to a situation, but he could easily free himself if he paid attention. And the six of pentacles is that spreading one's self too thin. Not allowing is definitely a form of resistance here, Cancer. Okay? And I feel like that's kind of what you're experiencing right now. There's still a little bit of conflicted energy coming out. You're needing to focus on the balance. You're needing to focus on getting getting back in alignment with your vision. Or maybe that is just cultivating a vision in general, having a plan. Even this is just like a plan for the next month of what, what you're going to do or where you're going to go or what steps you're going to take to focus on this healing process. Map it out. But ultimately, how, how do you envision? Okay. Well, the first thing that most people do when they're planning, if they're, if they're serious about planning their life, they're going to start with the outcome, right? going to take time, get in alignment with where, with that outcome where they see themselves headed in five, ten years at the end of the line and work their way backwards. You're trying to bring in balance here, Cancer, but it's a battle, okay? I will say that. It's a battle for you because this uh, forcing this healing process is a form of resistance. You can't force the healing process. You have to allow. You have to just be open. Some days are going to be good. Some days are going to be positive. You're going to feel free. You're going to feel liberated. And some days you are just going to feel daunting. You're just going to want to sleep. You have to learn to kind of flow with the energy. Roll with the punches. That's the grieving process. I will say you can't force this healing though, Cancer. You kind of have to allow so let's clarify. Clarify the judgment with the Nine of Swords. You are trying to free yourself from this cancer. I do see you putting in the work. I do want to commend you for that. That is a good job. I know it's a process, okay? Um, but if you're feeling any type of a resistance, it's because you're trying to force this healing. And you have to more just be open, just be allow, allow things to take place. Okay. What happens happens. Even if it's a difficult situation, let's say you get an in an argument with a past person, stand your ground, right? If you have an argument, stand your ground. That's why it's clear. It's important to get clear on that vision because then you have something to stand in. You'll have something to stand on. No, this is what I envision for my future. And I don't really feel like you're in alignment with that. So I'm going to move forward to something that's better suited. Acceptance. Now the strength card also is like the first steps of that sojourn is what they call it when you're really noticing okay maybe there are some things about myself that I might need to change of why I keep entertaining these types of relationships it's really coming to terms with okay there are some things that I might need to kind of get in tune get in better alignment with right Four of Swords, the Seven of Wands. Stand your ground though, Cancer. You need to get clear on that vision so that way you have something to stand on. Okay? Pay attention. Okay? Pay attention to all the details. 
I really get the sense that you have been cautious. Okay, that could be why he, what's brought you to this place. Spirit is wanting you to focus on the healing process. And no, I know you're not going to want to hear that with the cards that are coming out. But I will say that it is a process and it's not going to happen overnight. And don't beat yourself up if you feel like you got mad and you had an outburst, okay? That's not what we're here to do. There's something to learn. What triggered you to react that way? Being aware of those triggers, awareness is going to be key. Being aware of your triggers is so important. And I feel like that may be important for you um, to pay attention to this month is people triggering you or people trying to get a rise out of you. Okay. Pay attention to all that. If you're in a certain area and you feel anxiety, maybe there's a, a memory that that area is triggering. The Eight of Swords with the Queen of Cups is clarified by the Queen of Cups and the Death card. Transformation, okay, emotionally. A lot of you may have not ever thought about a relationship in the aspect of planning it out or thinking about what you want for your future. Maybe you always were just the type that if you felt a connection, you felt the connection and you just went along with it. I understand the thinking behind that, but even just having clarity on what type of partner you see yourself with will help you when you're having a difficult situation such as these, okay? Because I feel like there has been a significant ending. You may also have gone through a betrayal, so something like a third party situation or this person not spending as much time with you in this connection as they should have. Not everybody knows how to be in relationships. Whatever transpired here, Cancer, it made you feel very at loss, okay? Also probably brought up some past resentment from past relationships because there's a sense of betrayal here. And I feel this person may have very well betrayed the relationship, but it's deeper than that. And I feel like you know this. This is just confirmation. That higher level of commitment, Cancer, that higher level of commitment scares you and that could be why you're accepting emotionally unavailable people into your life. So if relationship is something that's important to you at this time and this reading is resonating for you, I recommend taking at least the month of October, Cancer, and getting clear on what that vision in relationships is. Don't focus on business. Don't focus on life. Whatever else you can plan out, focus solely on relationships characteristics of your ideal partner what does that future relationship look like when you guys are married and retired and sitting on a porch swing reminiscing about the past times what does that lifestyle look like for you because not everybody's vision is going to be the same the reason why I say that is because let's say you're a teacher Let's say the person that you're interested in is a pilot. Now, you guys might have a lot of love for each other. Maybe you've known each other a long time, what have you. But if you think about it, just your career choices aren't going to align because a pilot is going to be traveling all the time. A teacher is going to have to stay in a certain location normally most of the time. So understanding here, Cancer, that vision, 
your outcome, what you want for your future is important. Just as important as anybody else's. Five of Swords with the The reason why you're not wanting to make this plan is maybe because there's a lot of uncertainty and there's a lot of stress surrounding this decision. You want to know how you clear up that uncertainty cancer? Get clear within yourself. And then you can also think about, you know, what are the characteristics that you might compromise on, but what are the things that you're not going to compromise? For instance, Maybe you'll deal with a person who is a little bit distant at times emotionally, but you won't deal with somebody who's lying or cheating. And that's just an example. I'm not saying that's for you. I do feel there is a need here to get clear, though. Crystal clear. And you're kind of resistant here to, well, a lot of things. Just being honest, guys. Just being honest. You're being called to stand your ground. This is the King of Cups, clarifying the temperance with the Knight of Swords. And Ten of Cups. Okay, so you're headed in a positive direction. That is important for you to understand. Okay, it's also important for you to get clear on that vision. <laughs> Two of Wands with the Lovers. What does that look like to you? Plan it out. You're going to be able to know when something is in alignment with your future by having that plan. And asking specific questions. Right? I know it's a process, Cancer. I know it's not easy at all by any means just being aware that okay there's going to be some resistance at times so that way you can tell yourself when you're having those emotions okay this is normal right that's why i always promote on this channel awareness being key just being aware is going to be key being aware okay well i'm going through a process an emotional process there's some heavy energies that i'm processing this month so just being easy with myself being aware trying to allow understanding there's going to be some resistance along the way but once i'm able to say okay this is the resistance that was spoke on now we can move through this and move on if we don't know that there's that resistance if we don't know that there is anxiety these triggers are coming up how are we supposed to know how to handle that situation when it arises it's gonna be a lot more difficult isn't it you need to take some time here cancer with yourself because once you get clear on that outcome that's when this healing process is going to start moving forward a lot quicker because you're gonna want us you're gonna want to move forward to that outcome that you've envisioned you're not gonna want to stay here in this grieving process for long I know you don't now, but subconsciously your mind is telling you that you need to grieve and you're wanting to just press forward. Take some time to get clear on that vision surrounding relationships so that way you're able to pay attention to when you're being triggered here. Okay? Let's get a few cards out here for your advice, guidance moving forward here, Cancer. I am going to do an extended version to the reading, guys, in the extended version, which the link is below in the description box. In the extended, we're going to tap into, um, is there anything else you need to watch out for? Any secrets that are hidden? That'll come to the forefront. Any new things coming in? How to attract? And we'll look into the outcome if the guidance is followed. I'll pull out a few different oracle decks over there, as well as the soul truth deck for the lesson and the archangel cards for the blessing. If that's something you guys are interested in, you're more than welcome in joining us. Again, the links are all below in the description box, guys. One more card. We have the world with the five of wands and the chariot. The lovers. Okay, so again, guys, 
this is surrounding relationships but the lovers is also a choice okay so understanding you have a choice in all of this okay it is a process but focusing on what isn't working is where that resistance comes from you're going through a completion of a cycle a leveling up if you will a maturing phase and I feel like you're a little bit conflicted on how to move forward or what, should, what are the next steps that you need to take or where do we go from here? And you have to figure that out on your own, Cancer. You can get a personal reading and they can tap into your energies and try to get clear on what your personal path is. But honestly, your best guide is your intuition, is what you've already been given. But all of this uncertainty, all of this stress, all of this chaos is why you're not able to pay attention to that intuition piece, okay? I know it sounds like a lot and it also probably sounds like a never-ending cycle. The first step that you need to focus on here, Cancer, is that vision, okay? Getting clear on what that outcome looks like to you and where you're being triggered. Okay, bring awareness to those triggers. You're going to start seeing process, processing and moving forward. Um, as soon as you become a little bit more aware, of just be aware of yourself and be practical with yourself about where, where exactly it is that you are right now on your healing journey. So let's get a soul truth for you, Cancer. If you guys have found that this message has been helpful, that it's resonating with your situation, please give it a thumbs up. All the love and support is very much appreciated. It does help with the growth of the channel, getting the message out there. So thank you guys so much for all of that. You guys are all amazing. fear i realize that i am testing my resolve to live in the energy of love the outcome of all choices in life is determined by two emotions fear and love your soul is made of the energy of love and fear is an earthly manifestation of a challenge to embrace and wallow in fear is to go against your very being. Fear, in its many guises, is the obstacle that your soul uses to test its tenacity to stay on track. For a soul, human life can be very difficult, but acknowledging that your soul's true nature is love will always help you on your path. When fear rears its ugly head, it is really an opportunity for you to stare it in the eye and turn that doubt into trust. View it as a teacher. What lesson are you learning from these fearful emotions? The more you use the energy of love to diffuse fearful situations, the less often they will present. That resistance, subconsciously, could stem from fear it's part of our program our human program is to keep us safe right fear is what does that it's that fight or flight that everybody talks about sometimes we stay stuck in uncomfortable situations for us because we're afraid of the unknown so just examine how you're feeling at this time and your reactions to those feelings very practically cancer and just be open okay to what is going on how you're feeling be aware at this time okay my healing is already in process my willingness to forgive begins my healing process i allow the love from my own heart to wash through me cleansing and healing every part of my body i know i am worth healing 
beautiful 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 cancer so cancer i feel like that's a good solid message coming out for you guys for this month thank you guys so much for all the love and support thank you for liking subscribing sharing the content you guys are all amazing again if you want to get in on the extended version the link is below otherwise thank you guys again so much and i look forward to seeing your beautiful souls again soon namaste